Hello, everybody, and welcome to Mike's Got Poop on His Pingas. Here's your host, Mike Riley. Uh, I, w- I just want to let everybody know, not only is that the first thing Dane said in this recording, Dane, that's the first thing Dane said, period. <laughs> he came into my Discord channel and was very, very quiet until literally just now. <laughs> well, um, that's, that's just the way it is sometimes. All right, Bruce Hornsby. That's just the way it is. Hey, it is. Some things will never change. <laughs> Also with us is Jason Amherst. Yeah, I'm here too. And we're doing N64 games today. Uh, the wheel is a plentiful, as you can see. Uh, so I've made a decision since we're using this wheel now. Uh, everybody's choice base is up, and if we land on a choice base of somebody who's not here, it just becomes a free dump card. Uh, and if we are maxed on dump cards, it's a free spin. In the it's diarrhea card. Either way, they're interchangeable in my view. Dump card, diarrhea card. They're both. They they both mean the same thing, do do they not? They both. They both need the same team. That's right. Do you know the way? All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, wheel a spun and see what we start with today. Hopefully, nothing crappe. Uh, well, I don't. I, I guess it won't be in Dane's view. Dane's choice is what we landed on. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's go with. Earthworm Jim 3D. I was already clicking on it before you even started saying it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's a funny oh, game, oh. but it is not very good. It's not. No, it's not. Um, <laughs> it, it was it was part of an entire Which is retrospective. Star, but still. AVGN did of all the Earthworm Jim games, and he even had like a. Uh, a shit gauge like uh like scales and uh like yeah you got dan castellanetta reprising his role as earthworm jim in this game yeah shame that he just yells random crap like you know my brain like randomly yeah like gex <laughs> yeah <clears throat> oh yeah um, same problem as gex 64 had it's on a cartridge and not a cd so it's inferior picture picture what if gex and Bubsy made love under the guise of Earthworm Jim. I would throw uh, up in my mouth a little uh, bit. Oh dear, I I feel like I've made it. There's been a terrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Who's joined us, by the way? Ashley. Hi. It's time for Ask Ashley. Oh no. <laughs> I am too sick. See, look, yeah, I'm in the county hospital, just like Earthworm Jim. <laughs> uh, been... <laughs> Things look pretty bad. Only a miracle can save our boy now. Elvis. Oh, Elvis and Petey the Pup. Yep. Okay. Where's Princess? What's her name? Yeah, I think he's like trapped inside his own brain. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, I remember playing this. I remember playing this. <laughs> I vaguely remember the plot of this. Yes. Uh, so Is... as uh, so, since Ashley just joined us, I want to let you know this was a Dane's choice. Uh, landed on his space. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, I was trying to get in. I uh-huh. just woke up from a did nap. You, did you ask oh. it nicely? I I said nap, motherfucker. We ate too much watermelon. We need to wake up. Watermelon! (laughs) My mom has grown a bunch of these ice cooler watermelons, which they're not big watermelons. Like, they're big enough that you could put them in an ice cooler, but they're small enough that, like, you could literally eat one by yourself. I am contractively obligated to share this information with you. (laughs) But here's the thing. She can't have watermelon. And now I have the watermelon. Hey. Oh, you're collecting golden udders. Yeah. It's Super Mario 64 with Earthworm Jim. It's it's Banjo-Kazooie with Earthworm Jim. Yeah, basically. Uh, Ashley mentioned watermelons, and now I've got... This is the most beautiful day! They got helmets on their heads! But I got a watermelon instead! Yes, Lord. 
Good. Okay. Good. Great, great talk. Good talk. I don't even know. This game, this game had so much potential. Except they rushed it out like everything else. Can you? I, uh, I don't think. I don't think that. Yeah, does I think that's decor, Mike. Brain. <laughs> I'm in the happiness. Oh. You have to collect more uterus. Twelve letters. To in order I to have happiness. Twelve uteruses. Twelve cow uteri. This is fear. Fear. Can you go in here? Twenty-six. No. Nope. Tw Twelve cow. There's got to be some place where you can go. Fantasy. 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 Oh, nope. says you need to collect forty nine more udders, and then I'll l l l lick where, you from your head to your you, toe, and then I'll move from the bed down, down to the to the flow. Do you go in the eyeball? No, I guess not. What is this? Can you go here? Memory. Memory. Uh -huh. Yep, I guess you can. <laughs> is he playing? Is he playing the bagpipes on the udder? Yes. yes. Yeah, I'm the, he's playing the utterly, utterly ridiculous bag, but blowing on my utteries like you're wanting me, calling me. It's time oh, to stop. Ah, uh, let me guess: is Psycho the main villain in this game? The the reason why Jim's trapped in his head. I don't know. Uh, that's what I'm wondering. What is it a war cow? Why does that? That does not Sacred look Sacred cow of memories. The chosen oh. worm. Hmm. It is Psycho, yeah. I'm sorry, I killed your bitch. The terrible farm war of 72. And this clucking hell. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, gotta collect my marbles. You know, this was a Dane's choice. If by Dane's choice you mean I choose the game and everybody else goes, oh, this game is stupid. That was a bad choice, Dane. Dane, that's not exactly the thing here. Is that no, you it's... Like the first Earthworm Jim? And when we all played this, well, I mean, we I'm not angry. really. I'm being facetious when I say that. I'm not actually angry. We, I we know. Were, we it's... were hoping this would be good because Earthworm Jim was a yeah. recognizable name. That's true. It's like when we were younger, we had high hopes for this game, and our hopes were haberdashed. We had high, high Haber. hopes for a living. Fire your blast or shoot. shoot the crows. Shoot the wall. Gotta have high, high hopes for a living. Shooting Rise for the stars, the and I could have made a killing. Didn't have a dime, but I always had a vision. Right. Now you're just straight in. I know what song Mike is talking about. Yeah, I just. Yeah. Uh. In, in, what did your in, mama say? It's insanity at the atrium. What 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 did your mama say? Mama say? Mama say mama saw mama kusa. Hmm. Wake up. Grab roach run a little don't makeup. The, why are you trying to kill the gerbil? I don't know. No. I don't know. Whip by pressing C down. Oh, great. Oh, so you need to whip him. You were doing that already. My ass. Da -na 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 -na. Sucking on my ass. I don't know. <laughs> Rhyming ass with ass. Liquor. 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 That is that is some fine. Uh, yeah. Uh, intern work there. Watch out, Jimmy. <clears throat> Villain Ahoy. Press B button to dodge his missiles. When you're down, since use the control they, stick to roll about. Since when do they call him Jimmy? Mm -hmm. Kind of weird. His name's Earthworm Jim. There was like a booger inside of his head telling him to do these yeah, things. Yeah, that's not. I know he's. He I'm aware he's named Earthworm Jim. What I mean is, nobody ever called him Jimmy. It was always just Jim or Earthworm Jim. 
Keep it rolling, 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 rolling. What? Fuck. <laughs> Get the atomic thing. Got, wait a minute, he dropped the power up. But I know, it's gone. it's gone. Well, that's kind of ridiculous. This <clears throat> old bitch. If I'm not mistaken, wasn't that power up just more gun ammo? Probably. Man. And because you have full ammo, it wouldn't bother being there? I guess it well, I don't mean to alarm everybody, but the fridges have been lost. <laughs> Magic titty. I Is that got the uh, secret, secret tunnel? Yes. Magic titty. Do, 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 Magic do, 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 do. Utter. Okay. At first, I thought those were watermelons. Nope, those are motherfucking grenades. Ouch. Show that fat fuck who's... You're the sorriest oh, looking been. chicken I ever seen. Mer <laughs> merciful <laughs> mung beans? <laughs> it's Just Colonel Plunkett. Homer Simpson saying all of this. Merciful Mung Beans! It's Colonel Pluckett, the great war hero! Merge! That's right, so I'm not gonna right, mission Mung. for you. A mission for me, Groovy! Those treacherous cows have enlisted the help of the hedgehog mercenaries! Uh oh. Oh, not Sonic! He's the fattest thing alive! You're alive! No, my underwear! My underwear. <laughs> God damn it. You can uh, debrief yeah. me when I... Oh. Oh. Oh, shoot me in the face for that pun. You're too slow. Oh, no. Z. Uh, Z camera. What the heck? Brian! <laughs> yeah, that was, that was the thing that uh, AVGN made fun of the entire time when he was reviewing this game was uh, the random shit that he would shout out and you couldn't understand it. It's like... Was that, was he yelling pain? Was he yelling brain? Like, wh what was it? Brain! Brain, huh? brain! Hey, What's a brain? What's a brain? Brain, brain, brain! Hmm. There we go. I was going to zoom back out a little bit. Brain, 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 brain. Ooh. That is definitely the Homer scream. Brain. Yeah. Merge, I don't want to play the GD in Aladdin 2. <laughs> well, homie, I didn't want to play the Williams. genie in Aladdin 2 either. Well, homie, Robin Williams didn't do it, so it's up to you. Ooh. He wanted more money. It's, it's and he funny only considering came back the fact that he third. also wound up playing the genie for the TV series and Kingdom Hearts. Which, why couldn't they get Robin Williams for Kingdom Hearts, man? That would have been absolute titties. Union prices. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and I, if I remember the story correctly, when Robin Williams was coaxed back to do the third Aladdin movie, they literally um, redid all of Dan Castellaneta's lines. Because Dan Castellaneta was, had recorded his stuff for King of Thieves. But, oh, hey, look, there's the underwear. Fun. I would have rather had Robin Williams in Kingdom Hearts instead of Aladdin oh, 3. Because oh, oh so, Sora, you're kind of a bitch, Sora. Oh. <laughs> Pain. Pain. <laughs> Look, I can't help that when I played Kingdom Hearts and I heard some of the original voice actors from some of the original animations that Disney had. That is like, it hit that part of my brain that's like, mmm, this feels nice. I think, uh, I think no one will ever forget, though, the fact that Sephiroth was originally voiced by Lance Bass. Ooh. He was, he was gay, or he is gay. <laughs> Or, but it didn't matter. Or he will be gay in the future. Either. Well, it didn't matter because uh, Severoth was one of the hardest non 
uh, non-primary bosses. Harder than uh, harder than that French French pole pole vaulter. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Seriously, Folks, I don't care what heart. anybody says. If you lose in the pole vault because of your boner, kind of it's kind of something you can't live down. Yeah. Actually, funny enough, while I'm thinking about it, uh, let me see if I can find the thing I saw earlier on that. Yeah, apparently there's an adult film site that's giving him a lucrative deal. Uh, all, all I can think when I hear the uh, Sephiroth Choir is uh, what would it sound like mashed up with Bye Bye Bye? Bye Bye Bye. Es tuans interius ira vehementi. Es tuans interius ira vehementi. Bye Bye Bye. I was trying to find... Stereos, stereos coming. Yeah, I saw a post on Facebook about a number of like headlines that they could have used to describe this incident, and I can't, I'm having trouble finding it. Oh, the uh, the pole vaulter. Yeah, I like, like that a uh, anime artist drew a girl pole vaulting and knocking the pole off with her tits as a joke. Oh, here it is. Here it is. I found it. All right, here we go. Uh, here's the jokes to follow. Choose a headline. P Olympic pole fault. All in all, mm -hmm. it's just another prick in the vault. Oh, dear. The French lose second battle of the bulge. <laughs> uh, once again, a man fails at keeping it just a tip. <laughs> While in France, you must try the coq au vin. <laughs> is, it true how, is it true how you lost? Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> Frenchman gets cock blocked. Olymp oh. Olympian loses match, gains two million OnlyFans follow uh, subscribers. Le Grand hey, Bonaire. <laughs> Sh French shafted again. Uh, epic fail in Friday's cock exchange. Done Mush. in by a jumbo Frank. Monsieur forgot to tuck. <laughs> uh, King Richard II makes Olympic appearance. <laughs> Pole vaulter self disqualifies by using unsanctioned pole. <laughs> uh, and my favorite, another dick at the bar ruins the party. Oh, man. I kind of like the just the tip one. <laughs> Same. That makes sense. <laughs> Pain! Pain! God, this is this is almost as bad as freaking playing virtual Bart and hearing, "Do, woohoo!" <laughs> and, you know, gameplay wise, this really isn't that bad. The, the camera is really making... doing most of this, making most most of the problems for me here. Yeah, you you, you were you making it sound like the harder like... parts of the game. I mean, like, I'm not worse. saying that this is a masterpiece, but this is not terrible. Yeah, the it, camera's it, what's making it gets it considerably fun. worse later on. Like, remember, AVGN had to play through the whole thing to get footage from start to finish. The beginning of the game, eh, this ain't bad. Later on in the game, fuck my life. Why am I still playing this? I thought. So you have a fuck my life sound effect. I do, actually. Uh, it's like you're at home. You can just do the sound effect. Fuck <laughs> my life. There it is. Yeah. I always will attribute that to being Cartman, even though it's not Cartman. Nope, that's Omaru Polka. It's just she sounded like Eric the Cartman. Omaru Polka. She, she, Ooh, maybe she's he'll give jester, us a jump uh, The The Jester Fennec Fox. What the? There we go. You got uh, that thing. It looks like a mushroom gun. Underpants it gnomes? Shoots little minions <laughs> that cannibalize you? Why is David the gnome attacking people? <laughs> 
Eh. It's yeah, skill plus here. 10. That shit. Black Betty ammo. That's Ooh. okay. He's got skill plus 10. Hi, Alma. <laughs> Who? Yes, I now know what uh, skill plus ten. Wait a minute, who, who, the, who the hell was that supposed to be? I have no clue. <laughs> uh, was was that a? G given that, how bad Marge fucking, uh, sounds, I mean, what's that? What's that alien that everybody's was making the meme that? Oh, he was totally in the show. Oh god, that stupid thing. Oh. Uh, Oh, okay. Thought I had to like fire the underpants gnomes at him. No, I guess not. Or at him. Lower it. the underwear. Or not. Now I just or... gotta find a way to get the underpanties. How does one grab underpants in this day and age? With their teeth? I grab it from the band and uh, I pull it close to me. We are out of time in this segment. Uh, thoughts on Earthworm Jim 3D, Dane? Well, I mean, it really, like I said, it wasn't that bad. I mean, from from everybody seems to to agree that it gets worse as the game goes on, and I will, I'll take your word for it. But right now, it's like, okay, this. And I'm gesturing at the screen, but you can't, of course, see my hand. <laughs> this really wasn't that bad. It was okay. I guess it doesn't hurt that I'm an Earthworm Jim fan. Uh, Jason. Yeah, the game gets considerably worse. Like, starts off fine, and then just downhill from there. So. Downhill from there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ashley. I don't think Dan could have saved this game with his erratic voice acting. It had great potential. It just... That Z camera bullshit that the Nintendo 64 had going for it just did not work with this. Yeah, the camera is the biggest uh, setback of this game. I feel like um, otherwise, it's not. It's not like terrible, but it's yeah. There's if you want to play Banjo Kazooie, just play Banjo Kazooie. Honestly, scores out of ten, Dane. Uh, six. Jason. Five. Ashley. I'm gonna give it a five. I'm gonna give it a six. Excuse me, Dottie. I have to go pee. Wow. The thumbnail of uh, the nerd in uh, his Earthworm Jim trilogy uh, video really makes it look like he should just shave his head. Oh, shit. I thought he did shave his head. Awesome. Not really, no. Fucking like, awesome. All right. I'm down for this. Oh, it's Turok. All right. Yeah, it's, it's Tuvok. Yep. <laughs> We've done the first two games in the trilogy. This is a side story. Oh, so is it technically like 1.5 or 2.5? This is, this came out after 2, but before 3. So then 2.5, okay. Let's rock 2.5. <laughs> 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 a lot of midway games back there. Back <laughs> back. <laughs> Letterbox. Eh, let's just do high res. Letter B. <laughs> Letter B. That's my favorite in the alphabet. There's at least three selections on the board if it were to land by pick. So there's hope. There is hope. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, like, trying, but, like, I just got back from watching uh, Office Hours Live a little bit ago, and it had Will Sasso, which, don't get me wrong, really funny, great, great guest, like, absolutely hilarious. And uh, he helped out Tim Heidecker on his uh, J.D. Vance impression, because SNL's looking for 
someone to do an impersonation of uh, J.D. Vance if he wins as vice president, which oh. I hope. Oh, God, doesn't. please, no. <laughs> but if you have a political impersonation, it's at least a guaranteed four year contract with SNL. That's uh, you know, it, it's, you know, so there's a good possibility if Kamala Harris <laughs> wins, we may get Maya Rudolph. And I'm OK with that. You know, I just wish that we had gotten uh, friggin' four years of uh, Larry David. You know, as I'm, I'm far from a Kamala Harris supporter fan. Much like I wasn't really a Biden supporter, but in the span of two weeks, to see the Democrat fan base this energized like they are right now is amazing because oh. it's like two weeks ago it was all infighting pessimism people were like oh trump's gonna win again so but uh... uh but now now it's like oh my god this is great it's not sleepy joe anymore anyway you were saying jace uh at the time of this recording it is uh, QuackyCon, or, or QuakeCon, rather. Um, they just announced Doom Anthology for all consoles. Physical oh, copy that? will be available on Switch, PS5, Xbox, and PC. Uh, includes a 5-inch replica of the BFG with LED lights and stand and Steelbook game case. And will include Doom, Doom 2, Doom 64, Doom 3, Doom 2016, and Doom Eternal Deluxe Edition. Interesting. Uh, yeah, retail price, show. $80. Ooh, okay. that's not a bad deal. Not a bad deal for six Doom games, a steel bookcase, and a replica of the BFG. I mean, the games alone mm -hmm. make it worth the... A discount. <clears throat> wow. It might be an empty steel book with a download code if you get it on Switch. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's still worth it. It's still worth it. It's still a deal. It's so many fun. Download games. required. Box contains key code to unlock game collection. So, yeah. There, there is no disc or cartridge inside the box. It is an empty steel book. Fuck you. Eighty dollars for an empty steel book. Brilliant. Yeah. Really. At that point, at that point, if it's just codes for the games, just make the the Nintendo Switch version like sixty fucking dollars. Digital games should cost less than physical releases, and physical yes. releases shouldn't be fucking empty boxes! Yes, my brother, preach. Let me feel your hatred. I... I feel it too. I just... The fucking balls on these video game people to be oh. like, hey... When I see that shit, like, it freaking makes my blood boil, and I just get all... It's Trilogy of Terror starring Jason Amherst as the angry video game beaver. Man. Angry video game <laughs> beaver? Wait. No. Beaver? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm looking at uh, the Angry Video Game Nerds uh, Glover review that he did recently. Yeah, and oh yeah, and it's like you know I I must have mistook him for somebody else because I actually thought he shaved his head, but no, he did not. No, but nature shaved his head. But to <laughs> echo to echo Jason's sentiments, um, yeah, dude, just. Get it over with and shave your head. No, nobody will mistake you for freaking nostalgia critic. He's nobody will. Hair. Nobody will fault you. But your hair is losing the war, and he's, he's starting to look like a caricature of like 
you know, a freaking friar monk. You're starting to look like George Costanza a little bit. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. George is getting Jerry, upset, bitch. Jerry, this game is crap, Jerry. I'm telling you. <laughs> Whoops. George, calm down. It's just a video game. I'm telling you, this game sucks donkey dick, Jerry. Donkey George. dick. George, you can't say that. I'm you telling really you. really want to come at me when that I have again. a scorpion out? <laughs> well, then again, I miss the days when uh, it wasn't a bunch of leftist comedy, whatever the fuck that means. If we could turn back time to the good old days. The good old days. If you could put your feast up in Jerry, my ears. Jerry, I'm telling you, Jerry, there is no better game than Frogger, Jerry. If you could I've put always been a... Well, you know, George, I've always liked Superman 64. <laughs> it's because you, cause you lack taste, Jerry. <laughs> That's because oh, you lack taste, Jerry. Hello, Newman. <laughs> Hello, Jimmy. Why, why, why don't why don't you get a PlayStation, Jerry? That's where the good games are. <laughs> if you could put your I, feast up and died my ears. Can you imagine? Can you Let's, imagine like Kramer Kramer bursts in? He has a fucking Jaguar box. He's like, whoa, guys, I got it. I was the uh, perfect video games. It was huh? either. I was thinking either Jaguar, 3DO, hey. or Saturn. One of those three. <laughs> my uh, Sentry yeah. turret got her. That last one. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Feast. Uh, this is the band uh, 21 Proctologists. <laughs> oh, I didn't know they had their hand in this field. Yes. Uh, I don't know. 21 Proctologists, last I checked, they were a pretty shitty band. Hey, oh. Uh, la last album, I think, was just, you know, an hour straight of just. <laughs> Don't even, don't even say a word. <laughs> you, know, you know by now it's a sound <laughs> 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 I come back from grabbing a snack. And talking to my mother about video game stuff, I hear Jace laughing, and it kind of makes me happy. <laughs> Jason played the crap sound effect, and one of Dane's parents walked by. Classic. It was my dad. It was your dad. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Steven unfortunately and hurt the tail end you, of a sharp. You and, have the greatest timing in the world, Jason. Cause and, what he, <laughs> and of course, you did, you cannot see this because I'm not. And you wouldn't be able to see it because he's off to the side. He was miming <laughs> sitting on a toilet. So. <laughs> 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 Damn. That's, and that's why I'm just we gonna, love I'm great. just gonna. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go take a long hard. <laughs> and and that's why we love Stephen Forgione. <laughs> oh. uh. Well, it, you know what, Jace? My mom agrees with us uh, that if a, a video game has a digital copy, uh, that it should be cheaper than the physical copy. I think I think everybody really agrees. If you do not physically own it, it should be cheaper. Correct. I mean, granted, I think she was just agreeing for the sake of agreeing, but I was trying to explain it to her. Oh no, Dottie, are you afraid? I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Don't be afraid, Dottie. Ah. Yeah. <sighs> Let's 
Sorry, Dottie got scared. She may be coming in to join us. And then the naughty got scared of the good old days. I want you all to remember something. Uh, the Alamo. We did the when we did the uh, <laughs> you can't be serious live. My dad was literally in one of the games. Yeah, I remember yes. that. Yeah. Yeah, he was in dubbing, and Jason D- Jason was overdubbing him. I think, I believe. Yeah, it was me, Jason, and the nasty little Hobbit. Oh. Yeah. The Wisconsin Wee Wee Man. <laughs> no, no, no. We we know you know who I'm talking about. Oh, I know. No, you don't. He's talking about somebody completely different. Oh. The Wisconsin re- Wee Wee Man, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I didn't hear that. Why Why the Wee Wee Man? That's the last part did of his body I want to think she, about. Wait, did, she, did he, you think I was talking about Flossie? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm no. not talking about that idiot. <laughs> <laughs> not that, that idiot, Flossie. that idiot. Yeah, the different idiot. <laughs> Not there, there. Not there, there. A drunk douchebag penis pump. (laughs) There. No, because penis... That's an insult to penis. That's an insult to penises, because I think penises have gone better places. Mm. Hmm. You're right, you're right, you're right. I retract my statement. I retract my penis. Um, Wow. That would get you some OnlyFans. I'm an alligator. Oh, um... That was a direct fucking a, hit, and that didn't kill her? A newly enhanced re-release of Doom and Doom 2 includes 16-player online co-op or deathmatch. Oh, holy, holy yeah. shit. Yeah, baby. I I do have it on uh, on Steam, and I believe it got upgraded to that version. I think it's turn back time. It's a good time. Wow. Well, 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 well. Apparently, um, apparently pigs and boars can retract theirs. Um, wow. That's, uh, that particular power-up was a spood beast. Yes. Papa the poopy. It doesn't matter if I die as long as you die first. It doesn't matter if you pick away. Because if you're messing with my baby, it don't huh. matter if i Okay, I'm... never mind. It says uh, Doom 2 is no longer available on the Steam store. <laughs> so the version of Doom that I have is no longer available. Oh damn! They I also are a have a deep ass discount. You uh, uh hold oh, on. it is considered in my oh, library. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you, you having you having issues there? Are you having a problem? Can you are you are do you want to talk about it? Sir, 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 do you, ma'am, are you in your ma'am? Do you, are you need an adapter? I do. You, can you not get around Whoa. that corner? Have you tried Whoa. turning it on and off? Here, let me help. There you go. <laughs> Hello, IT. Have you tried turning the game on and off? Fuck you, I'm stuck. Ah, the yeah. Stuck you, I'm fuck. <laughs> fuck you, Howard. Oh, yeah, no. It, it's now listed. It just got added randomly to my library because I had Doom 2 by itself as Doom plus Doom 2. So I've already got it on Steam. Nice. Oh, Yay. so they just they just uh, put put Doom and Doom Two together in the same thing. So yep. I bet if it I open my, single, I probably single download. If I open my Steam, it'll probably be the same way then, because I had uh, both. It's considered a separate download from the original ones that you had in your library of Doom and Doom Two individually. It is now Doom plus Doom Two. It is a separate installable thing that is one gigabyte. 
And that's the one that has the uh, 16 player co op deathmatch thing. Hmm. Into the Bethesda folder you go. Speaking uh, of changing the subject slightly to uh, when dumb people fuck around and find out. The the rumor is now suggesting the rumor have come out the, the WWE reached out to Logan Paul and basically told him, "Hey, um, about that whole boxer situation in the Olympics, fucking shut up and mind your business." Yeah. To which Logan Paul apparently threw a gigantic temper tantrum, basically saying, "No, I, I want to be, I want to be, a, <laughs> let me be a transphobe." So, even though the woman now, was a transsexual, it looks like him losing at SummerSlam is part of his punishment for throwing his little bitch fit. Yep. Good. Oh, that's okay. The United States title looks better on LA Night anyhow. I mean, he was yeah. he, he was getting it regardless. He just wasn't supposed to get it this soon. But he's yeah, got it now. Like, well, his ass looked better with that United States title than, you know, that that skinny bitch. I mean, I wear out. belts on my shoulder or around my waist. I don't know why you're looking at his ass. Uh, his face, his have ass, you, his face, his ass. Have you have you seen ass that face. man walk down the uh, have you seen that man walk down the amp? Or a ramp? The amp? Well, like, yeah. <laughs> Has he have you seen him walk down an amplifier? No, I have not. That's That'd be kind of weird if he did. It would have to be a very big answer. The store entrance. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's charismatic. He's paid his dues long enough, just like John Morrison said. You know, if you play his catchphrase backwards, he becomes Irish. (laughs) Aye! True. Oh, a wrestler in his forties. He's really, really Ooh. not that bad looking. Uh, like, he there, looks healthy. There's, there's a sale at Best Buy right now. The Legend of Bumbo uh, for Switch is thirty five percent off. Now thoughts, that's a sale. Thoughts on Turok Rage Wars, Dane? Um. I mean, I kind of like the other style of Turok, just running and dying and shooting dinosaurs. But this wasn't too bad. It was a fun little fragging event. All right, Jason. Uh, Turok Unreal Tournament Edition, basically. I mean... Uh, Pretty much. Eh, you know... I mean, not bad for a multiplayer game, I guess. But, uh, yeah, give me a single-player campaign any day. Ashley. Um, Turok Goldeneye minus Oddjob? Okay. Well, you don't know that. There's plenty of uh, unlockable characters. Oh, uh, unlockable content? Okay. I haven't played this one, so it's like I would be willing to play it. It's just I'm kind of like kind of <laughs> sort of in the middle about, you know, competitive shooters. Yeah, this is a game that's way better uh, with friends than it is by yourself. By yourself, it's fine, uh, but it, this is meant to be a multiplayer game. Um, it's basically, as Ashley said, it's Goldeneye, but with Turok. Um, it's fun as a multiplayer game. I've played it multiplayer before. It's great, but yeah, by by yourself, it's not as good. It's still fine. It's just better with friends. Scores out of 10, Dane. Six. Jason. Five. Ashley. Five. I'm going to give it a six. Is that like almost, least... almost the same scores as last time? Exactly the same scores well, as last time. Also remember that we're being a little generous with the scores because normally if we really don't like a game, like if we six flags hate a fucking game, we will zero the bitch out. We will beg beg to send it in the negatives into like the the precipice of the deepest darkest hells so uh five is is generous what uh, oh it's namco museum all right all right i'm always wow. down like damn 
Cable really is dying, huh? <clears throat> what, do you, what happened? So, uh, Warner Brothers Discovery uh, revealed that uh, they're taking a loss on their TV networks, uh, saying that they are worth 9.1 billion less than originally anticipated. Mm. Yikes, that's a... Now, you think that that's bad. Now throw onto the pile. Paramount is taking a almost $6 billion write down on their cable Shit. networks as well. Oof. So, yeah. Apparently, Paramount finally turned a profit on Paramount Plus, uh, but their actual television networks, they took a loss on. Ooh, so, got ca open. Cable is dying and dying bad. Mm. But you know what? The thing that I like about the streaming services, like the channels and stuff, you could just get and stream whatever network you want. That was a close one. Ooh, that was a close, close one. call. Yeah. Um, like, don't get me wrong. Do I miss having Comedy Central? Yeah, but there's Comedy Central shows that are on different streaming platforms. Like, I mean, yeah. I literally just watched Daily Show on uh, YouTube. Truth. I, I watched yeah. Colbert on YouTube. Oh, I got Hell, cornered. I watched Last Week Tonight on YouTube, even though they put it up on Thursdays now instead of Mondays. Because, well, oh. fuck you, David Zaslav. H HBO's kind of HBO's doing doing uh, Oliver rather dirty, and I'm just like, come on, guys! It's uh, like you that's wanted also over because night. Oliver like blows mm. the budget on the most stupidest things ever. You know, well, it's a funny it's a funny thing. They're apparently they're releasing the the day the planet exploded or whatever that uh, Looney Tunes short film or rather film film yeah but it's like you know so then why don't you just do wildly versus acne you cowards I know, right i'm gonna go back and play not i don't want tips get out of here so we, i don't want tips so we can get do some of these games you know, I forget uh, when uh, Namco got the rights to Ms. Pac-Man, uh, because they didn't actually create Ms. Pac-Man. Who did? Uh, Bally Midway, technically. Oh, yes, that is true. Because Pac-Man was under license to Bally Midway, and they made the original machines, and they were like, oh, we want to make more money off of this. How do we do that? Uh, no, no, what if no. we made our own conversion kits for Pac-Man to make a different version of Pac-Man? Oh, and they reverse engineered the game, slapped the bow on it, and said, Ms. Pac-Man. Remember so, those. Nope. Finish your thoughts, sorry. So, yeah, this, this character never originally belonged to Namco. It was basically some dudes in America who were like, how can we make more money off of this? Remember, folks, I got if cornered. the stories are true, if the stories are true, they originally were going to call Pac-Man Puck-Man, but they were afraid that teenagers, being teenagers, would deface the cabinets in a certain way. Yep. Fuck, man. That actually is true. Wow, Mike. You, you fucking figured it out. I know. I am brain. You brain. are brain. Brain. <laughs> uh, we're, we're tying it all back together to Earthworm Jim. Brain! Whose turn is it to use the brain? Not mine. <laughs> One brain cell. One brain cell. Well, that for those of you who are wondering, during the Merc line is it anyway? Whenever somebody would say something, that is a name I have not heard in a long time. 
Whenever somebody would say something monumentally weird or stupid or whatever, Mike would always say, whose turn is it to use the brain? That is true. Who, whose turn is it to sh uh, share the uh, brain cell? I just ate that ghost's ass. <laughs> yes. Eating, yes. Eating Blinky's ass. Eating Blinky's ass. Oh my god. Fuck. No. My goodness. <laughs> I like how you followed it up with a nope. <laughs> well, that was in one of the videos, that right? Was, that was one, one of them, yeah. Up, stop when and she went, saw it, nope. she went, nope. <laughs> oh. Um. And then other times, the alarm bells go off in my head, and... Some of these VTubers are a little strange. Oh, Bibu is... She, she is pure cringe Zoomer. Like, she... she she is the way that I learn Zoomer speak and Zoomer memes. Um, li like the sticking out your gat for the Rizzler thing. Or, or Oh gosh, she came up with that? No, she heard it and then came up with her own version. Because uh, Nerissa supposedly could uh, quote-unquote Riz anybody with her Ara Ara energy. So she said, sticking out your gat for Nerizzler. Um, you're so skibbity, you're so bibu tax. I had to learn the translation please, please of the of speak of today. Like, I know what Riz is. I'm okay with Riz, kind but, of. I'm okay with dead ass. But skibbity, like, no. I learned, I learned all that slang from one video of that VTuber. And quite literally, like, that is just her forte, is annoying somebody to the point of insanity. Damn or as they refer to it, getting Bibu taxed. Bibu taxed? Getting yeah. Bibu taxed. Well, because because her, her name is Koseki Bijou, but because it's hard to say in Japanese, and because she's got, like, such a young look to her character people started calling her Bibu, and it just caught on. Like, nobody calls her Bijou. They all call her Bibu. And and according to her lore, there is an evil version of herself. Ubib. Ubib? Ubib. Oh, gee, why didn't it's she just... backwards. Uh, why didn't they just... Why didn't she just reverse the fucking syllables and call herself Booby? <laughs> ah ha 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 ha. And let me guess, Ubi, U, Scooby Dooby Doo looks <laughs> old. Uh, no, it's just a dark colored, like evil looking version with like black, red, and white, as opposed to like pinks and purples and stuff. Oh. But if we're gonna be scatting here. <laughs> guessing Galaxian doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, you broke it. <laughs> The, 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 accoutrements, uh, the accoutrements break Galaxian, I guess. Darn. Well, that sucks. C come to find out, if you press the camera button upon loading into uh, the Vanish Cap level in Mario 64, um, you can actually crash the game. Really? Yep. Because there's an item that cannot load into place. Why did... Th oh, wait. That was an ad for Tower of Draga in there. Draga. Prepare to qualify. Oh, great. We've got infinite uh, credits being entered. Yeah. Oh, no. No, it's just that I hit it a shitload of times. Oh, yeah, I, I do that when yeah. playing arcade games, too. It's C-Right to do credits. Here, I just did another one. Ha. Nothing nothing will ever beat uh, Turtles in Time. 
let, 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 Sunset Riders, yeah, or or uh, Moonwalker. <laughs> uh, that is an arcade game that I wish would get re-released. Now, pole, pole position's cool, but it's certainly no outrun. True, because I mean, like at least outrun had like that chill Sega music, uh, whereas like this is just. Ring. Let's say unless I break up unless I break up the monotony with <laughs> X Men, welcome to die. X Men, X Men <laughs> Having lots of sex men. Nothing moves the blob. Boom. Okay, looks like you moved the blob. <laughs> Homer Simpson is the blob. <laughs> so, uh, your fingers are too fat to use this phone. Please go to this address to get your dialing aid. Mm -hmm. Smoke, smoke. You know, this speaking is an emergency. of Simpsons. Jam your hand onto the dial pad now. Speaking of Simpsons, the Simpsons arcade, uh, if you, the, the, uh, the canon of that game, as opposed to the, uh, stuff, apparently Smithers is a fucking psychopath who likes to throw bombs everywhere. Yeah. Oh, Look, Doug, such a good game. Smithers, Smithers also, is a uh, bottom. We all know he's a bottom. And he will throw bombs because bottoms are bombers. Also, uh, fun fact, Dig Dug is a deadbeat dad, canonically. Ouch. Explain. Uh, because the main character of the Namco puzzle game, Mr. Driller, is the son of the Dig Dug guy. Ah. Oh. I didn't know that. Then who did Dig Dug marry? I don't know. I just remember hearing that and going, huh, sucks to be Dig Dug. Or, or Mr. Driller, I don't know, like, either way. I always hated how the last enemy tries running away from you. Get back here, you pussy! Get back here! I need to pop you! Whoever, whoever made Dig Dug had an inflation fetish, clearly. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Whichever Japanese man or woman, we don't know. I mean, I, I think we know. I just need to do a little resar. Uh, Hatomi Tanaka. <laughs> no. <laughs> sure. Dig Dug. Um, need inflation. Designed by Masahisa Ikegami and Shigeru Yokoyama. Well, you two um, men or, or women, I don't know. Uh, Do you both, have both men. Okay. Uh, designed by Ikigami with help from uh, Galaga creator Yokoyama. Uh, programmed for the Ouch. Galaga arcade board. Um, music by Yuriko Keino. Including the character Yuriko... movement jingle. Game. It was right. marketed as a strategic digging game. Thoughts on Namco Museum 64, Dane? Well, if you've seen these games once, you've seen them all. They're not bad games. They're classic games, but it's like... There's no, no frills here, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, since after all, this is Namco Museum. So it did its job. Okay, Jason. Yeah, I mean, they're classics. Um, I'd, I'd say the only downside is certain things like Pac-Man kind of look really bad with the, like, half-assed, crunched pixel art 
of the uh, marquee around the uh, play field. Um, also, pole position just sucks. There are a million other racing games that did it way better. <coughs> Ashley. It's always nice to have a classic on hand, especially when you're feeling a bit nostalgic. Um, it's it's not bad. I mean, it's they adapted it to our controllers, and we didn't have to pay a shit ton of quarters to get to the next level. So, um, good job. Yeah. Uh, did obviously the games all included in this are classics and are always a lot of fun to play. Obviously, the pre- presentation could have been a little bit crisper, but uh, outside of that, really, there's no complaints. Scores out of 10, Dane? Seven. Uh, Jason? Seven. Ashley? Seven. Yeah, seven. On this edition of the show, we played... Hold on a sec. We played uh, Earthworm Jim Earthworm 3D, Jim 3D. Turok Rage Wars, and Namco Museum 64. Best game of the episode, Dane? Uh, I'm going to go with Earthworm Jim. All right, Jason. Uh, Namco Museum. Ashley. Namco. I'm going to Rock Rage Wars. Thanks for joining us for this edition of uh, Retro Roulette. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Ford, Joan, Jason Amherst, and Ashley Miller, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time.